Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It's me, Sarah, here with the Enosburg Public Library, and welcome to our Friday story time. Today I have for you Jasper and Ollie Build a Fort by Alex Woolen. Who here has a fort? I used to have a fort. I used to actually try to build my own. It didn't work out so well, but I got a platform on top of one part of the tree and then I was able to get ladder up, but I didn't go any further than that. My friend has built really awesome blanket forts. Those ones I'm really good at. Do you like to build blanket forts? I think we should do that sometime together. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling and get on with the story. Again, this is Jasper and Ollie, Build a Fort by Alex Willen, and I believe he is too, the illustrator. Jasper's super stupendous fort of awesomeness. Whoa. Hey Ollie, what do you want to do today? Wait, I know. We should build a fort. What do you think, Ollie? Do you want to build a fort? Sounds good to... Wait! I have an even better idea. We should each build a fort and then see who is, is, is the best. I will pick out the perfect spot. Whew. He seems to be in a rush. Oh, let, me... let me fix my adjusting skills. Okay. There we go. Well... This seems like a good spot. What do you think, Ollie? Looks good. I'll go get my tools. This is really starting to come together. Wait, I should add a second floor. This fort is looking pretty sweet. Wait, it's looking a little too sweet. I need to protect it from intruders. Hmm. Wow, it seems like Jasper is really fast. Intrude if you dare! Wait, I need to add some support. Crocodiles wanted. <gasps> Great! He built a moat. How great is that? Side story. Me and my best friend, we want to build a moat around our little house. And we need to hire somebody to take care of the alligators. So if you're interested. <laughs> Look at Ollie go. That should just about do it. Wait, Ollie. It's time for our lunch break. Seems like Jasper is really in a rush. That sure was tasty. Wait, are people going to go into my fort? What are they going to do? Tire swing, check. Twisty slide, check. Check. Rocking climbing wall, rock climbing wall, check. Wait, I need to add more support. Look at Ollie's fort coming along very nicely. Look at Jasper. He just got tangled up. That's better. Wait, I almost forgot the final touch. This may be the greatest fort ever. Oh my goodness. Is he adding a statue of himself? Oh. <laughs> Silly. Okay, Ollie. Prepare to be amazed. You guys ready? Are you going to be amazed? Let's find out. Behold! Wait, I need to add more. Creak? Uh oh. What is that creaking noise? Support. Oh no. Ollie's fort 
fell down. He put so much work into it. He added a lot of things, like a slide, a rock wall. Oh. Hey, Jasper, do you want to know what my fort has? Oh. Room for two. You know what, Ollie? I think your fort is the best. Jasper and Ollie's fort. That is a really pretty looking fort. I have to go back and look. Look how he had the blankets. He made sure he had the ladder, some light. Who is ready to build a fort this summer? I'm definitely ready for camping at least. All right. So today's craft that I have for you guys is our very own sloth. Because that's what Ollie is, right? And they are really cute. So first things we're going to do, this is what it's going to look like. But you are going to have four pieces of green leaves. You're going to have um, a half arch and a half of a circle. You're going to need glue. I use watercolor paint, so I'm going to use watercolor paint and a Sharpie and staples. And that's what you're going to need. So first things first, ba -da -da -da, we are going to grab this. We're going to grab a, what is this called, a paintbrush, duh. And this is my watercolor palette. right here. Instead, I made a brown sloth last time. I'm going to make a gray one this time. I have my little plate of water and I'm going to dab it in and make a wicked cool gray one. What we're going to do is we're just going to paint it. And I like to use a watercolor too because it kind of dries faster instead of using the paint that I always tend to not have dry for us. <laughs> also, today is Friday. School's almost over. And tomorrow's Saturday. Do you guys know what that means? And if you don't know what that means, I'm about to tell you. It means that we are now going to have a Saturday story time outside with me. So, if you would like to join me tomorrow outside the library while I read you some stories, be silly goose, and do some crafts, you should join me. I will be, um, it's at 9 o'clock. We are changing the times. And I would be most thrilled to meet all of you or see all of you again if I already do know you. It has been oh, a year, guys, since we've had our story times. So we're starting off this month with Saturday, and it's going to be at 9 a.m. Um, <laughs> my brain lost its train of thought because I was trying to focus on this. So, yeah, make sure you guys come. It would be so much fun. I'm going to read to you guys a few books. We're going to do a little crafts. Um, next, is it next Saturday? I don't think it's next Saturday. Maybe it is. I have to see the date. But I also think next Saturday is our planting party. So if you're going to come next Saturday as well, we will have our story time and right after story time we're gonna get right into the garden and we're just gonna start planting some stuff for our learning garden program for the summertime anyways so there's that guy and I just got it on me you might want an extra paper towel on this side so you can blot this off so I'm going to do this Get some more black, right? Or gray, whatever you're doing. 
And you're just going to do the outside part like that. Also, if you come tomorrow, um, we we're going to, I did make the craft bags together. So if you come, you can come pick them up. It will have the Friday, um, today's craft in it. So you can do that at home. And tomorrow we can do the Saturday craft together. It's going to be so much fun. Okay. See, you just do the outer layer like that. And now, since I did two different colors on this one for the eyes, because the eye part is shaded a different color on a sloth. It's usually white sometimes. It depends on the sloth, too. So I'm going to take a lighter gray. And I'm just going to go, or a darker gray. It looks lighter. And we're just going to make half ovals on the inside. And voila that's gonna dry up for a second while we wait for that to dry up really quick we are going to grab our stick this is our branch just one little piece of paper of a brown piece of paper well, let me move this guy aside since we have this you're gonna have four pieces of green leaves so what I'm going to do and what I thought was pretty cool to give it more of a actual, I don't know, it just looks pretty neat. We're going to glue one leaf on one side and one leaf on the other side to give it that depth. So we're going to take this. And we're going to put one like that. And then we're going to take the other one. And do the opposite side. So it looks like that. I'm going to do it again. And voila, you have that part. And if you would like with your Sharpie, if you want to give it some more detail, I can. There you go. I'm going to put that aside. Put the top on the glue. And we're going to bring our little sloth man back. Now that he's all dry, we're going to take our Sharpie again. And we're going to draw a half circle for the eyes. And I do, I'm doing it like this because he's sleeping. And then we're going to make a little smile. And then a little nose. I'm going to color in the nose. And then at the very top of the curved one, we're going to draw three lines. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Now that we're all set with that, we are going to staple his head. 
on to his little body. And then we're gonna grab our branch and we're gonna staple his feet right on. We have our little sloth. I hope you guys enjoyed that little craft. I hope you enjoyed the awesome little book. And make sure that you come by tomorrow. We will be together and we can go outside and play and read some more books and do some more crafts. It will be great to see you guys. Um, yeah, we're going to be preparing for um, also summer. It's going to be a grand old time. I hope to see you guys tomorrow, so make sure you stop by. And you're going to pick up a craft bag, and we're going to hang out and do some fun things. All right, thank you all for joining me this morning, and I will see you then.